Mr. Butchen, the icon of Indian cinema, was interviewed by Nikki Bedi of the BBC for his movie Bootnut. This was a comprehensive interview detailing final moments of his career. Nikki Bedi, of course, is the ex-wife of Kabir Bedi, who was the Bond villain in Octopussy. Enjoy the video and don't forget to leave your comments. Thank you. Digital TV. Download. iPlayer. And online. The new sound of Asian Britain. This is Asian Network. BBC.co.uk slash Asian Network. Amit G, welcome to the BBC Asian Network. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Our absolute pleasure. So, on the website, there is a... What a lovely website it is as well for the film. Uh, I actually haven't been too often to it. I have to tell you then. And um, um, I believe it's very interesting, so maybe you can advise me. I will, and it's, me on it. it's beautiful because any member of your family could go there. Mm -hmm. um, it's child-friendly. And there's actually there's a picture of you with you know sticky things all over your face from uh, the little yes. boy shooting you. Yes. Is that in the movie as well? Uh, no, I think it's more for the promotion. I was going to say just to give you an idea that he's not a scary ghost; he's more malevolent and fun. Yeah. Otherwise, could you have dealt with a little seven-year-old firing things at you all day like that? He does actually worse <laughs> in the film, so okay. I've, I've lived with that. In in the blurb on the website, it actually says children have the strongest connection to God. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that's true? Yes, that and music. So why do children have a stronger connection to God than adults? It's, it's, it's because of their innocence and because they are uh, so non-polluted by, by worldly wares, which all of us as we grow up are. And um, just, just the fact that uh, they are so natural um, uh, makes them so almost godlike. So do you think as it, that's one of the reasons that as we grow older and we go through our tainting and our loss of innocence, that towards the end of our life, sometimes we want to reclaim religion. Do you think there's a reason for that? I, I think as we grow older, we, we realize that, uh, you know, uh, there isn't going to be an eternity as far as our life is concerned. And we're going to end at some point of time. And uh, the sooner we start thinking of where we're going, the better. Um, Vivek was saying at one of the press conferences that this is definitely particularly it's a family film. Ravi Chopra said the same thing. Is there a trend, do you think, in Indian cinema at the moment for moving back to, instead of Nanga Nach projects, much more family oriented projects? No. I think that um, there's been an effort all along in Indian cinema to remain as close to Mother Earth, so to say, as possible. Uh, remain close to our, um, our, um, our very conservative, perhaps, or non-conservative uh, uh, behavior as far as family values are concerned, uh, our heritage is concerned, what we've learned in our scriptures, what our grandparents tell us when we were young. There's always a desire to be very close to that. Our ethics, our, our social outlooks, uh, uh, we've never digressed from that. And that's been very attractive, not just in India, but outside as well. Um, if there is an interesting story which encompasses all this, mm. uh, we go ahead and make it. If there is a story that you know, requires the so-called Nachkana and requires uh, entertainment, so be it. I think that there are uh, various categories of people uh, in the entire universe that want to see different kinds of things. Uh, some people like to see action, some people like to see romance, adventure. Uh, but everybody and, loves to see a story about a child, don't they? Yeah, because, uh, because there is a child in all of us, I think. Uh, and uh, children, whether they are human children or the shape of an animal, they're, they're always so lovable. So when you were working with this little boy in the film, um, did you, could you remember yourself as a seven-year-old? Did you tap into Amitabh as a little boy? No, not really, because I wasn't portraying that role. I was playing the ghost. But did you uh, remember what it's like to be that age? Oh, yes. Um, what were you like at seven? I think uh, I was quite reserved, though my parents would think otherwise. <laughs> um, um, I was quite studious. Uh, I did well in class. I uh, I did well in my sports. Uh, I, I did my fair share of mischief, um, and, and got the odd uh, you know wallop from my parent, parents. And uh, but but that's it. Nothing oh. nothing like you know throwing a bomb somewhere or, or worse. 
um, today, if you if you bring up the subject of walloping children in the UK, it would cause such a furor. Yes, yes. Well, um, uh, I would actually go with that. I haven't raised a hand on my children ever, mm. and I don't intend to do that either. Uh, you might have to in a movie one day, though. Um, I've tried to resist. Okay. And if I have, um, I've seen to it that there is sufficient reason for me to do that, and that it is uh, properly clarified. Um, I hope that that is maintained, because I do agree that, uh, well, I certainly don't like the idea of parents raising their hand on children. So g going back to the shooting of the movie and, wor and working with a child, is, is there a different part of an actor that needs to bring out a generosity towards a little person as opposed to an adult? Or can you I, I think you expect um, an adult to have uh, known all the ropes and if he's working in a profession that he should know everything about that profession. Mm. It's a little difficult to expect that from a child because they're not professionally trained. Um, they're obviously picked up uh, raw and uh, some talent scout has discovered some kind of a unique quality in them, which is why he's there in front of you. But having said that, um, um, you have to admit that because of their rawness and because of their um, untrained quality, uh, they can throw you at times, and, and they always do. So you have to be aware and cautious uh, for being upstaged or <laughs> being taken by surprise. Um, actors hate that. Uh, but do you uh, hate that? Oh yes, we always do. We, 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 we always want to come out looking good. But we would submit. To a, kid. to a child. Have you ever... Lightning. Wow! <laughs> Boot <Bootman. laughs> Oh! That is amazing. Yeah. Did you conjure that, Mr. Button? Not really. No. Still, well, that was really that timely, good. wasn't yeah. it? Um, now that's completely thrown me altogether. Yeah. Um, so, the, wanting to be upstage, not wanting to be upstage, rather. Um, have you ever worked with an actor so not generous that in, in a reverse shot they've pulled faces at you or tried to, to put you off? Uh, I doubt if that would happen. Um, we're all a very homogeneous lot of people. Uh, we work for each other actually. Mm. Uh, we appreciate the fact that even though your colleague uh, may not be in the shot and that if he's required to give your cue or to give a facial expression that he would stand behind the camera and uh, not make faces. Right. But. Um, uh, um, no, I've never had the experience of somebody trying to get, um, you know, that ugly. Yeah. Um, we do that uh, as a form of a jest. Right. You know, just to irritate somebody. But it's more for fun rather than any deliberate uh, attempt to destroy somebody's act. And speaking of jest, to, to work with a, with, with a set and a group of people like this, was there a lot of fun on the set? Was there... Obviously, yes. yes. And a lot of laughter? Oh, yeah, sure. Because I just, I wonder sometimes if, if it's difficult for somebody like you to let go in front of everybody. Oh, you should visit some of my sets. Sometimes. I would love to. Yeah, Is that an invitation? Yeah, because we're only letting go. We're not doing any serious work at all. Really? Yeah. This is just, you know, by the way. Right. So it was a great experience shooting this, yeah, evidently. Yeah. Um, once, I think it was the beginning, when did you become a waxwork? Uh, was it 2000? It was the turn no, of the no, century, no, wasn't it? No, 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 no. Was uh, it before that? Oh. I can't remember. Well, anyway, yeah, I think it was, yes, around 2000. I had a long conversation with you then for a, for a television company, and we were talking about the nexus between the underworld and Bollywood. Eight in years... The in, in Sorry, yes, yeah. thank you for that. And actually, that's a very good point to, to bring up the fact that if anybody doesn't know this already, Amit Ji does not like the term Bollywood. And also, I read on your blog that you reacted to the term filmy used in a, yeah. in a derogatory way. Do you want to expand upon why you don't like that? Yeah. There is a habit, I think, uh, amongst uh, society or um, the more elite society to refer to people connected with films in a somewhat derogatory, uh, lesser manner. And so the word filmy has been constructed. Oh, that one was behaving very filmy, as though they didn't like the way he was talking or behaving. Or that house looks very filmy, which means it's not of good construction. Why does everyone have to uh, create this adjective to describe something that is substandard. I think that uh, uh, we have an equal place in society. Uh, we do honest labor, we work hard, and I doubt very much if there are very few, if there are 